The day after I posted the video on the TPMS installation on my bike, I went out for a one hour ride and when I came back, just for fun, I decided to check the app to see what the status was of my tires. Unfortunately, that app was displaying this. Okay, as you can see on the screen, the rear tire was 37 PSI and the front was 43 PSI. So there's no way that there should have ever been a six uh, pound difference between the front and the rear wheel. And not to mention, uh, the weather was very nice yesterday when this happened, it was about 65 degrees. So it should have never dropped below the minimum uh, 42 anyway, uh, particularly after I had just rolled in the garage and the tires were hot. So. Um, so let me show you what I did when I got off and, and uh, when I saw the app, uh, what I did to investigate to see what was going on. Okay, the first thing I did was to grab the cap just to make sure that that didn't start backing out. And as you can see, it's still on there pretty tight. Um, and because that lock nut is there to hold it in place, remember it's not supposed to back out. So once I decided that that was not the issue then I felt like, okay, I must have run over something, so let's take a look at the tire. So I started spinning the tire around uh, to see what I could find, and there it is. As you can see, there's the culprit. I ran over a nail. So I guess I'm pretty fortunate that I had the system installed uh, because my plan was to come home, um, uh, download some uh, footage from filming, and then uh, just take a little break and I was going to go out for about another hour or so. Uh, ordinarily, I would have just come home and if I didn't have the TPS system on there, I would have done my thing and then just taken right off. I was just a little curious, decided to look at the app and found that there was a problem. So uh, talk about perfect timing of just only recently installing the app and then it uh, coming to help me out uh, right uh, right away like that is uh, pretty fortunate. So where I stand now on the motorcycle is I will uh, have to call tomorrow to see about getting it repaired. One of the things that I did get when I purchased the motorcycle is a tire warranty for five years. So I will see how that works. So I will call the company tomorrow and uh, I'm supposed to get a claim authorization uh, approved from them before I do anything. I will take you through uh, how that process worked and whether or not it was worth it at some other point. But for right now I just wanted to pass on that uh, the TPMS did its job by letting me know that there was a problem. So uh, I'm pretty fortunate to have installed it. Like I said my plan was to come back for just a little bit and go right back out. And ordinarily when I do that, I do not check my tire pressure. So in between rides like that. So I would check it before I would leave, um, but for the rest of the afternoon, I would just take it as given that it's, uh, it's still good. So I was glad that I wasn't back out riding again uh, because no telling where I may have been at the time uh, when I finally recognized that I was running out of air pressure. So, and it didn't take long. This is not one of those nails where you run over it and oftentimes they stay somewhat sealed. Uh, this was not the case. It's clearly leaking, as you will see on the screen, uh, how it progressed later on throughout the afternoon. And right now, uh, you can clearly see the tire is pretty much completely flat. But again, uh, I'm pretty fortunate to have that system on there. I will have more on this as it develops to let you know how things stand, and, and I will keep you posted. See you next time.